Madriasis, Wikipedia article audio. Madriasis is the dilation of the pupil, usually having a non-physiological cause, or sometimes a physiological pupillary response. Non-physiological causes of madriasis include disease, trauma, or the use of drugs. Mechanism Effects Autonomic neuropathy Traumatic Drugs Medriatics Notes Normally, as part of the pupillary light reflex, the pupil dilates in the dark and constricts in the light to respectively improve vividity at night and to protect the retina from sunlight damage during the day. A midriatic pupil will remain excessively large even in a bright environment. The excitation of the radial fibers of the iris which increases the pupillary aperture is referred to as a midriasis. More generally, Madriasis also refers to the natural dilation of pupils, for instance in low light conditions or under sympathetic stimulation. An informal term for madriasis is blown pupil, and is used by medical providers. It is usually used to refer to a fixed, unilateral madriasis, which could be a symptom of raised intracranial pressure. The opposite constriction of the pupil, is referred to as meiosis. Both madriasis and meiosis can be physiological. Anisocoria is the condition of one pupil being more dilated than the other. There are two types of muscle that control the size of the iris, the iris sphincter, composed of circularly arranged muscle fibers, and the iris dilator, composed of radially arranged muscle fibers. The sphincter is innervated by the parasympathetic nervous system, the dilator by the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic stimulation of the adrenergic receptors causes the contraction of the radial muscle and subsequent dilation of the pupil. Conversely, Parasympathetic stimulation causes contraction of the circular muscle and constriction of the pupil. The mechanism of madriasis depends on the agent being used. It usually involves either a disruption of the parasympathetic nerve supply to the eye or overactivity of the sympathetic nervous system. Pupil diameter also increases in reaction to cognitive tasks requiring memory and attention and this phenomenon is used as an indicator of mental activation in psychophysiological experiments. Natural release of the hormone oxytocin can cause mild to moderate madriasis. Parasympathetic fibers travel with cranial nerve 3, the oculomotor nerve, to innervate the circular layer of muscle of the eye. Damage to this nerve typically manifests itself as madriasis because the sympathetic supply to the pupil, which causes madriasis, remains unaffected, and therefore unopposed. Multiple central nervous system disorders e.g. epilepsy, stroke, and impending brain herniation are known to lead to temporal madriasis as well. A brain catastrophe, or a rapidly increasing brain mass, can cause compression of the oculomotor nerve. In cases of head injury or orbit trauma, the iris sphincter or the nerves controlling it can be damaged, reducing or eliminating the normal pupillary light reflex. The neurotransmitter norepinephrine regulates many physiological processes in the body and brain, including both the conscious muscle groups and involuntary muscles of the autonomic nervous system. When intended as a useful effect, Various drugs such as tropic amide are used as madriastic agents during surgery. Anticholinergics such as atropine, hyoscyamine, and scopolamine antagonize the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors in the eye. By blocking these receptors, the pupils are no longer capable of constriction and dilation results function as powerful norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors in the brain 
with some also being releasers of norepinephrine, liberating it from synapses where it has already been sequestered via reuptake. The effect of this torrent of freshly active norepinephrine is the classical forced stim of the speed user, one hallmark of which is severely dilated and non-responsive pupils, which are stuck squeezed open due to the ongoing muscle stimulation. Contrarily, opiates such as heroin and morphine operate as massive dopamine releasers, which creates the opposite effect. As a hard and fast rule, medical professionals, teachers, and police are taught to observe an intoxicated person's pupils, with blown pupils usually indicating amphetamine, cocaine, or some other upper and pinned pupils usually indicating an opiate. Archived copy Archived from the original on September 27, 2007 Retrieved August 7, 2007. Alkaloids present in many plants of the family Solanaceae also induce medriasis due to their potent anticholinergic effect, similar to that seen in chemical warfare agents like BZ, which acts heavily on the autonomic nervous system. Amidriatic is an agent that induces dilation of the pupil. Drugs such as tropic amide are used in medicine to permit examination of the retina and other deep structures of the eye, and also to reduce painful ciliary muscle spasm. Phenylephrine is used if strong medriasis is needed for a surgical intervention. One effect of administration of a midriatic is intolerance to bright light. Purposefully induced midriasis via midriatics is also used as a diagnostic test for Horner's syndrome.